an expedition commissioned by President Thomas Jefferson, led by two intrepid explorers, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark, journeying toward the uncharted Pacific. Their trip would create maps for future westward expansion, vital for the United States that we know today. Incredibly, the exact path that they took on their nearly two and a half year journey is known to us today, and you can even visit some of the precise locations of their camps. How do we know this? Well, you see, Lewis and Clark took some pretty weird dumps. I'm Matt Silverman, welcome back to Now I Know, a show that dives into the nitty, gritty, deep, dark, sticky side of history. Now poop, by all accounts, is a biodegradable substance. Poop is so good at disappearing, we cover whole fields with it, then eat what comes out of those fields. But Lewis, Clark, and their party? Well, let's just say history did not do a very good job of wiping their poop away. The reason the expedition's waste is still traceable today is thanks to an old-timey medicine called calomel. Calomel was a laxative brought on the journey to ward off illness. Calomel was pretty great because it killed bacteria. Calomel was also slightly less great because it was full of toxic mercury. So for Lewis and his number two, I can't stop and I won't stop. The process went a little bit like this. When someone on the expedition fell ill, the party would set up camp, dig some latrines, give the sick person some good old calomel, and give them their privacy. The ill person would relieve himself and hopefully start feeling better. A few hundred years later, historians and archaeologists, you know, the ones who specialize in ancient diarrhea, found huge holes full of mercury. And thus, Lewis and Clark's expedition path is revealed. If you're interested in learning more about the pooping holes of iconic Americans, Traveler's Rest State Park in Montana was recently identified as a rest stop for the Corps of Discovery. These videos would not be possible without the generous support of our Kickstarter backers. And a special thanks goes out to everyone listed here who contributed at the second tier. Your support means the world to us. And an extra special thanks goes to gold tier contributors, Seamus Hempenstall, Phil Berberian, the Bohal family and Hive Digital, and Kathy McCullough. Thank you so much for watching Now I Know. If you'd like to have more fun facts, trivia, and interesting stories like this one in your inbox every single day, consider subscribing to Now I Know a daily email newsletter from our good friend Dan Lewis. And if you'd prefer to get your Now I Know in motion picture form, consider subscribing to the show on YouTube or Facebook. You know, the place where you're looking at my face right now. For now, I'm Matt Silverman, and I'll see you out there on that disgusting, poop-filled trail.